both sides are justified, right? I think Peter on this side is who he is because he lost his father at a young age and it sort of warped his worldview and his father was always sort of emotionally remote and crazy for his entire life and it turned him into the sort of loner outcast that he is. But maybe Peter on the other side, who, if he didn't get snatched, has a loving father and his mother doesn't commit suicide and he actually has some sort of family unit, turns into a much, much more functioning human being. There isn't a good... I can't think that way. I mean, I think the viewers will obviously think that Walter is a bad guy at this point. It's natural. And also they've become very familiar with Walter and got to like him. So they're not going to like Walter in it, but what I'd, what I'd love to have happen is that as time goes by that people look at both universes and say, mm, really, there is no right and wrong here. Uh, if I lived in that universe, I'd be thinking that if I lived here. It's one of our challenges as, 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 as storytellers to do that. Uh, I don't think it's been done before, so hopefully in time uh, people will understand Walter. I actually do understand him, but he's coming across as an authority figure, President, people don't like him, which is fine. I don't think either of them are, are bad. I think they're both fighting their fight and uh, fighting for their cause. And um, I, I mean, if, it'll be interesting actually to see how much time we spend in the, on, on the other side and to see if, uh, if you are able to then make that other side not a bad side because I think they're just, it's just all odd and all just very weird. And she feels the same way that Olivia feels about Olivia, we call her. So I don't think she's bad or evil. She's doing her job, which Olivia, Olivia shot a lot of people in her job too. <laughs> like a lot.